With the release of its first Chrome box, Lenovo is looking to offer the Chrome OS experience in a small package. Designed for educational institutions and businesses, the Chromebox Tiny may be an attractive option thanks to its versatility and affordable price tag. This is Bailey Stein with Android Authority, and this is my full review of the Lenovo ThinkCenter Chromebox Tiny. The Chromebox Tiny gets its name from its 1 liter form factor, measuring 7 by 7.2 by 1.4 inches and weighing 2.2 pounds. The size makes it somewhat portable and ideal for use in environments like home entertainment systems. While it does have several rubber feet on the bottom for horizontal use, there's also a stand to support a vertical position included in the box. You should be able to easily use the Chromebox Tiny with your own monitor or TV since it supports both DisplayPort and HDMI out. Although one of the key features of the Lenovo Chromebox is the ability to make a space-saving transformation, at least according to Lenovo's website. What all of that means is, if you purchase a compatible Lenovo ThinkVision monitor, you'll be able to slide the Chromebox right into the open space on the back. By doing this, you're essentially creating a Chrome OS all-in-one, or tiny-in-one, as Lenovo calls it. Although home users may not benefit from this feature as much, it does make it quicker and easier to deploy or upgrade equipment on a large scale. There are two models of the Chromebox available, the 10H5 and 10H3. The 10H5 is the less powerful of the two, but also cheaper thanks to its use of a dual-core Intel Celeron 3205U clocked at 1.5GHz. The 10H3, on the other hand, is slightly more expensive with a dual-core Intel Core i3 5005U clocked at 2GHz. You can purchase either model with 2 or 4 gigabytes of RAM, but I'm testing the 10H3 with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Performance on my unit has been excellent, and while I haven't tested the other models myself, I'm confident that they'll offer similar performance. After all, Chrome OS is a relatively conservative operating system, and it isn't nearly as demanding as Windows or OS X for that matter. I would recommend getting a model with 4GB of RAM, however, especially if you like to have a lot of tabs open at once. The Chromebox provides four USB 3.0 ports, an audio jack, HDMI, and DisplayPort outputs, a Kensington lock, an Ethernet port, and built-in 802.11ac Wi-Fi. I did find that attaching the included antenna boosted the Wi-Fi signal significantly, and yes, Lenovo did design their monitors to accommodate this. There isn't an integrated speaker, so you'll either have to have a monitor with speakers or use the audio jack. While it does support Bluetooth 4.0, I did have some issues when using a Logitech ultra-thin mouse and an Apple wireless keyboard. The mouse cursor would occasionally flicker, but what was more alarming was when the computer would start entering a keystroke repeatedly. While it did seem a bit funny at first when the computer started typing the number 8, it became very frustrating when it started backspacing all of my work in OneNote. I decided to switch to the included wired keyboard and keep my Logitech mouse to see if this would resolve the issue, but it seems that the issue is present regardless of whether I had the keyboard connected, only to be resolved by completely switching off Bluetooth. A computer restart does temporarily resolve the issue, but I still had issues where my devices would just randomly disconnect and refuse to pair again. In the end, I turned Bluetooth off and just switched to the wired accessories since it was just too much trouble to keep it on. Hopefully Lenovo can resolve these issues in the future so that users can use Bluetooth reliably. The included mouse and keyboard, although wired, are actually pretty good. The keyboard provides a good amount of tactile feedback while offering Chrome OS exclusive shortcuts. The mouse is also nice to use, although again, I would have preferred wireless accessories. Since this Chromebox is targeted towards educational institutions and businesses, however, the included wired accessories do make sense. Running Chrome OS, the Lenovo ThinkCenter Chromebox Tiny provides a very basic software experience for those who use cloud services exclusively. Chrome OS is very easy to use and offers only the things that you absolutely must have. When turning on the Chromebox, you can immediately notice the sense of simplicity. There's a Chrome OS logo and within just a few seconds you're at your login screen. Log in and you'll be greeted with the main Chrome OS interface. A search button in the left corner next to the pinned apps and status information in the right corner. There's no desktop where you can play shortcuts or files, just a wallpaper of your choice. The search button will pull up Google, where you can search the web, launch specific apps, or use Google Now. 
The main app you're likely going to be using though is Chrome, which works exactly like it does on Windows and OS X. You can install apps and extensions from the Chrome Web Store and also quickly switch between those apps by using the task view shortcut on the keyboard. If you click the time in the bottom right corner, you can access a system menu with options to sign out or power off, connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, adjust the volume, or access the consistently simple full settings app. There's also a help link in that menu, which provides a bunch of excellent, helpful resources if you have any questions or need help. And that's really all there is to it. If you plan to use the Chromebox like a regular PC, you'll probably have to make some changes, but those changes may not be as major as you may have expected. Unless you need serious local file management, powerful photo or video editing tools, or developer tools, you'll likely be able to use Chrome OS quite efficiently. If you're someone who just wants to type up documents, send emails, and browse the web, you won't have any trouble using Chrome OS. Although you can't install Microsoft Office, you can still use Google Docs or Word Online for basic documents. As mentioned earlier, there are multiple variants of the Lenovo ThinkCenter Chromebox Tiny, starting at about $205 and going up to $340. There is a 16GB SSD, but it should be noted that you likely won't need to store much locally since the cloud-based Google Drive is baked into Chrome OS. You also get 100 gigabytes of free storage for two years with the purchase of a Chrome OS device, so you should have plenty of space. While Chrome OS may not be for everyone, the Lenovo ThinkCenter Chromebox Tiny offers a good value for not only educational institutions and businesses, but also home users who just want a simplified experience and don't need Windows or OS X applications. Lenovo's Chromebox is small and portable, performs well, and offers a simple software experience. On the other hand, I do wish that Lenovo would fix the Bluetooth bug, and I understand that this won't be enough to replace a full PC for many people, including myself. Although there are similar offerings that run Windows and subsequently offer better application support, the Chromebox is a very solid option for those wanting something very easy to use. Thank you for watching this video, and please make sure to give it a thumbs up below if you enjoyed it. Also, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content, and feel free to leave a comment below. Finally, be sure to visit the Android Authority website for additional coverage, as we are your source for all things Android.